Well, thank you for purchasing the new Trigicon AccuPin Bow Sight, the fastest acquiring, most durable sight in the industry today. This instructional video has been designed to teach you the proper setup and sighting in instructions for the AccuPin Bow Sight. The AccuPin is designed to allow you to interface the sight with other adjustable mounts. For the purposes of this video, we'll show you proper mounting and sighting in of the AccuPin on a Trigicon AccuDial mount. The AccuPin sight and AccuDial system purchase includes the following components. The AccuPin sight, an AccuDial mount, the mounting angle bracket, mounting hardware, a replacement fiber optic aiming pin, a Picatinny weaver type rail, and the product manual, warranty card, and other marketing materials. Well, who better to explain this information to you than the person who actually designed the site, Josh Varner, Senior Design Engineer at Trigicon. To make the setup easy on yourself, the first thing you want to do is properly know the speed of your bow. You can do this a couple different ways. All manufacturers post the IBO speed on their website, but chances are your hunting setup isn't the same. It's going to be slower. What you'd like to do is head to your local archery pro shop or perhaps a Gander Mountain and use a chronograph to get the actual speed of your bow. This will greatly reduce the setup time in your AccuPin's sight system. Once you've determined your bow speed, refer to the table in the manual to get the approximate setting for the bow sync transmission and adjust it to that number. For this case, we're going to use setting 5. You're now ready to begin attaching the bow sight to the mount. Remove the angle bracket and sight aperture from the AccuDial if it isn't already. Next, you'll need to mount and level the AccuPin to your bow using the provided screws. Rotate the yardage wheel forward until the unit is bottomed out. Mount the angle bracket to the elevation arm as low as possible so that your arrow fletchings will not make contact with the angle bracket when the arrow is shot. This position is your maximum range. A good reference check to use to verify that your fletchings will not make contact with the angle bracket is to put the arrow in your rest backwards, just as it would be shot, and slide it under there to make sure you have proper clearance. Slide the AccuPin onto the angle bracket and secure with the two set screws. Align the triangle, the string, and the arrow rest together to set your windage. Now rotate the yardage wheel backwards until the unit is adjusted all the way up. At this point, you're ready to start throwing arrows. And of course, always conduct this part of your sighting in process in a designated safe shooting area. Shoot an arrow at 20 yards and note the distance from center. Adjust the yardage wheel until you are hitting your target at 20 yards. Loosen the set screw in the range ring and rotate the range ring until the 20 yard mark lines up with the brass pin. Step back to 40 yards and shoot another arrow. If you hit the intended target, no more adjustment is needed, but longer range attempts are recommended just to verify. If you hit above the intended target, you need to move the bow sync transmission to a higher number. We recommend moving in half number increments. If you hit below the intended target, you need to move the bow sync transmission to a lower number, also in half number increments. If you have to make a transmission adjustment after your 40 yard shot, remember to go back and reset your 20 yard shot afterwards. Thanks Josh, great information. Uh, you know, all of this information is available in the AccuPin manual. If you do require additional information or support, contact our customer service department at 1-800-338-0563. Thanks for watching. You know, Josh, when, you, when I was pulling back... This video is also available online on the Trigicon website at trigicon.com.